celebrating 25 years of quality. The Quality Training Company was formed in 1992 by Jim Finlayson. Jim had spent a lifetime in hotels and held senior management positions with Stackers Hotels United Kingdom. Southern Sun, South Africa. Sun International, South Africa. Jim had also worked as the Human Resource Director for the Terrace Hotel in Adelaide. Jim saw a gap in the market. Whilst there were a number of excellent other hospitality training companies, they all focused too heavily on skills and knowledge. The Quality Training Company was born with a strong focus on assisting job seekers to develop the correct attitude. Jim also had a clear vision about helping people, helping job seekers gain employment, helping existing staff gain additional skills, helping employers gain staff. Initially, Jim worked out of his garden shed in Benithan Avenue. Anna Montebello joined Jim and helped establish the company. Whilst Jim was very much a big picture man, Anna put all the detail together. Soon the company grew and moved into the functional offices on Moringi Avenue. Whilst focusing on attitude, quality training used more motivational methods in their training and designed a range of unique activities to help the students overcome their barriers. Jim's plan was very deliberate, including the name quality training, which has now become a catchword in the industry. He employed top industry professionals, including Herbert Mahoney, Henrik Muller, Sean Mahoney, Andrew Lyon, Michael Rossus. The company soon gained the nickname the Five Star Training Company. Sue Stevens also joined the company, bringing her caring nature to all the students. In 1994, Jim's son, Richard Finlayson, joined the company after successfully running restaurants and working as a business manager for Maya in Adelaide and Sydney. Jim's dream of having a family business had become a reality. Jim's vision was always to demonstrate that the company didn't just have links to the hospitality industry, but were in the hospitality industry. So in 1996, the company purchased the Aviators Lodge Motel. The Aviators Lodge was a very successful 30-room, four-star motel and located five minutes drive to Adelaide Airport. The business continued to expand and in 1998 purchased the Adelaide International Motel. The Adelaide International Motel was another 30-bedroomed motel, located 10 minutes' drive from Glenelg. 2001 was a big year for the company. In this year, the company purchased the Buffalo Restaurant in Glenelg. The Buffalo Restaurant is an exact replica of the ship that brought the first free settlers to South Australia in 1836. The 200-seat restaurant was an iconic South Australian landmark and certainly helped lift the profile of the company. Jim's idea was to convert the ageing fine dining restaurant into a family restaurant, and the public supported this concept in their droves. In 2001, the company was divided into hospitality outlets and training. Jim was responsible for managing the hospitality business, and Richard became the managing director of the quality training company. In 2002, Richard oversaw the opening of an office in Sydney and the creation of the training restaurant concept at the Buffalo. The training restaurant concept was designed to offer students real-life practical experience in order to assist them in gaining employment. Main meals were priced at only $7, which ensured a busy lunchtime. In 2004, the company expanded the training restaurant concept into a new fine dining restaurant, Finlayson's on the Terrace. Finlayson's won rave reviews and was referred to as the Jamie's Kitchen of Adelaide. However, in 2004, the building was sold and the restaurant was forced to close. In 2008, the company commenced training to international students. With excellent facilities and a long track record in hospitality training, the company soon attracted students from all over the world. In 2009, the company changed its name to Quality Training and Hospitality College. Also in 2009, the company purchased Cafe Cuisine as a purpose-built training restaurant. And in 2009, the company also undertook a major customer service program in the Gulf state of Qatar. 
This program was on behalf of the Hamad Medical Corporation, one of the largest private hospital groups in the world. In 2010, Managing Director Richard Finlayson was elected to the board of ACPET, representing South Australian members. Also in 2010, Café Cuisine won the Professional Development Award at the South Australian Restaurant and Catering Industry Association Awards. In 2011, the company was awarded a contract to run the catering at Adelaide Zoo, further enhancing their hospitality industry credentials. In 2012, Quality Training's international students ran their first ever charity function for Can Do For Kids. For this inaugural event, 45 people were in attendance, with just over $5,000 being raised. This annual charity event has grown significantly over the years, with 150 people attending the most recent event in November 2016, and over $65,000 being raised for all kids a program enabling disadvantaged students to access education in Cambodia. A total of $274,000 has now been raised for charities, including Matthew's Journey, Can Do For Kids, Still Aware and All Kids. In 2012, the Jim Finlayson Scholarship commenced. This scholarship offers two outstanding students every year the opportunity to have a full semester tuition paid. Since 2012, over $50,000 worth of fees have been paid on behalf of the students. In 2013, the Quality Advisory Board was formed, with Mr Robert Ford as Chairman, Mr Alan Herald as Board Member, together with Richard Finlayson, Danielle Persico and other senior management figures. In 2014, the company won the South Australian Large Training Provider of the Year Award. In 2015, the Sydney operation grew significantly, with the awarding of a major government contract, Smart and Skilled, and the commencement of training to overseas students. The college also formed a partnership with Adelaide Hospitality Jobs and later launched Hospitality Jobs Australia, Hospitality Jobs Queensland, Victoria and New South Wales. The job site now has over 35,000 followers nationally and 20,000 in South Australia alone. In 2016, the South Australia campus moved into new premises on Green Hill Road. The college also launched a masterclass series with some of Adelaide's top hospitality experts, including Callum Hahn, Andrew Filkey, Michael Sferra, Matt Fitton and John Silvestri. These sessions were offered free of charge to current students and filled up very quickly. This program will be extended in 2017. In 2016, the college also delivered a pre-employment program in conjunction with Adelaide Oval. A staggering 147 people gained employment as a result of this program, with a majority still employed there over one year later. In early 2017, the college secured a large restaurant on the harbour in Sydney. This restaurant will be run by the students, giving them the ability to learn by doing. In January 2017, the largest ever intake of overseas students commenced in both Adelaide and Sydney. Coming up in 2017, expansion of our Masterclass series, hosting our first ever Hospitality Jobs Expo, further development of our Hospitality Jobs Services. Quality Training and Hospitality College thanks you for your continued support and commitment.